For more than a decade, the modern internet has quietly shifted into the hands of a few powerful gatekeepers. When most people think about the internet, they imagine millions of independent websites, apps, and services floating freely across a global network. The reality is far less decentralized. Welcome back to ICP Crypto Insights. This video is created for educational and informational purposes only. It does not promote or endorse any financial product, investment, or cryptocurrency. All information presented here is based on publicly available sources and independent analysis. Viewers are encouraged to conduct their own research before making any financial or technological decisions decisions. Behind the scenes, a massive portion of the world's digital infrastructure runs on just a handful of centralized cloud providers. Google Cloud, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure. These platforms host everything from social media apps and streaming services to banking systems, government portals, and even critical healthcare data. Google and AWS are not just cloud providers. They are the backbone of today's internet. And while their technology is undeniably powerful, their dominance creates a fragile digital ecosystem, a system where control, ownership, and decision-making are concentrated at the very top. This raises an uncomfortable question. What happens when the infrastructure of the internet itself is centralized? Centralized cloud services introduce single points of failure. If a major provider goes down, thousands of websites Websites and applications can disappear instantly. We have already seen global outages take entire regions offline, not because the internet failed, but because one company's servers did. Then, there is censorship. When data and applications live on centralized servers, access can be restricted, modified, or removed entirely. Governments can apply pressure. Corporations can enforce policies. Entire platforms can be deplatformed with a few clicks. And perhaps most critically, there is data sovereignty. When your application runs on AWS or Google Cloud, you do not truly own your infrastructure. Structure. Your data exists at the mercy of corporate terms, jurisdictional laws, and centralized permission. The internet was never meant to work this way. But what if there was a radically different approach? What if cloud services themselves could be decentralized? What if applications, data, and computation could run directly on a blockchain without relying on Google, AWS, or any centralized server at all? This is where the Internet Computer Protocol enters the conversation, and this is why ICP represents one of the most ambitious attempts ever made to break the cloud. Enter the Internet Computer Protocol. The Internet Computer Protocol, often shortened to ICP, is not just another blockchain. It is not a faster Ethereum clone. It is not a smart contract platform designed only for financial transactions. ICP is designed to be a full-stack decentralized internet. At its core, ICP is a blockchain blockchain that can host entire web applications, back-end logic, front-end interfaces, databases, and computation directly on-chain. No centralized servers, no traditional cloud providers, no Web2 infrastructure hidden behind the scenes. This is a critical distinction. Most blockchains today are incomplete systems. Ethereum, for example, can run smart contracts, but it cannot host a full website. Developers still rely on centralized services like AWS, Cloudflare, or Firebase to serve front-end content, store large datasets, and manage application logic. ICP removes that dependency entirely. On the internet computer, smart contracts are not small scripts that interact with external servers. They are powerful, stateful software units capable of running full applications. These are called canister smart contracts. Canisters are not limited by the severe storage and computation constraints found on traditional blockchains. They can store gigabytes of data, execute complex logic, and serve content directly to users through a web browser. In simple terms, ICP allows developers to deploy applications that look and feel like Web2 apps, but operate with Web3 guarantees. No centralized hosting, no cloud lock-in, no hidden points of control. This alone puts ICP in a completely different category than most blockchain projects. The core innovation, smart contracts that replace servers. To understand why ICP is such a threat to traditional cloud providers, we need to examine how applications normally work. In the Web2 world, an application is split into layers. The front end runs in your browser. The back end runs on centralized servers. Databases store user data. APIs connect everything together. And cloud providers manage the infrastructure behind it all. Even many so-called Web3 apps follow this exact same structure, with a blockchain bolted on as a payment or settlement layer. ICP breaks this model entirely. On the internet computer, the back-end logic, data storage, and even the front-end assets can all live inside canister smart contracts. These canisters are deployed directly to the blockchain and run autonomously across a decentralized network of independent node machines. There is no traditional server. There is no centralized database. There is no API gateway controlled by a corporation. 
When a user interacts with an ICP application, their request is processed by the blockchain itself. This is what true decentralization looks like. The technical revolution, how ICP works. At first glance, hosting full applications on a blockchain sounds impossible. Traditional blockchains struggle with scalability, speed, and cost. So, how does ICP pull this off? The answer lies in its unique technical architecture, Canister Smart Contracts. Canisters are the fundamental building blocks of the internet computer. They are far more advanced than typical smart contracts. Each canister combines code and state into a single, upgradable unit. It can store large amounts of data, maintain persistent memory, and execute complex computations efficiently. Unlike Ethereum contracts, which are limited by gas costs and block sizes, ICP canisters are designed for real-world applications. They can handle millions of users, large datasets, and continuous interactions. Developers can think of canisters as decentralized microservices, chain key cryptography. One of ICP's most important innovations is chain key cryptography. In traditional blockchains, every node needs to process and validate every transaction. This severely limits scalability. ICP uses chain key cryptography to allow the network to scale horizontally. Independent node machines operate in subnets, and cryptographic keys are managed in a way that allows seamless interaction between them. This means ICP can add more nodes without slowing down the system. Performance improves as the network grows, rather than degrading. It also eliminates the need for bridges. Assets and data can move securely across the network without relying on fragile external connectors. A world computer, not a single chain. ICP is often described as a world computer, and that description is accurate. Instead of a single monolithic chain, ICP consists of many interconnected subnets, each operated by independent node providers across different jurisdictions. These nodes are not owned by a single company. They are governed by the network itself through on-chain governance mechanisms. This creates a decentralized, globally distributed compute layer that no single entity controls. Decentralizing Core Cloud Services Now let's talk about the real disruption. ICP does not just aim to replace blockchains. It aims to replace cloud services themselves. Web hosting on ICP? ICP can host fully functional websites directly on-chain. Users access these websites through standard browsers without installing special wallets or plugins. The front-end assets, back-end logic, and data all live inside canisters. This means a website deployed on ICP cannot be taken down by a hosting provider. There is no DNS seizure, no server shutdown, no centralized authority that can pull the plug. Real-world applications are already running on ICP today. Social platforms, dashboards, developer tools, and decentralized services that function exactly like Web2 apps, but without centralized infrastructure. Data storage without central control. Data storage is one of the most sensitive aspects of cloud computing. On ICP, data stored in canisters is tamper-resistant and cryptographically secured. Once written, it cannot be silently altered or deleted by an administrator. This creates powerful guarantees for applications that require data integrity. Financial systems, governance platforms, identity solutions, audit logs. At the same time, ICP allows controlled upgrades and governance-based changes, ensuring flexibility without sacrificing decentralization. AI and advanced computation Perhaps one of the most exciting frontiers for ICP is decentralized AI. Traditional AI models rely heavily on centralized cloud infrastructure. Training, inference, and data management are all controlled by a few major players. ICP opens the door to AI models that run directly on a decentralized network. Models whose logic, parameters, and data are transparent, auditable, and resistant to manipulation. This could fundamentally change how AI systems are built, deployed, and trusted. Governance. Who controls the internet computer? Decentralization is meaningless without decentralized governance. ICP is governed by the Network Nervous System, or NNS. This is an on-chain governance system that allows token holders to vote on network upgrades, economic parameters, and operational decisions. There is no central foundation that can override the network. Changes require consensus from the community. Node providers are regulated by cryptographic rules, not corporate contracts. Incentives are aligned to keep the network stable, secure, and censorship-resistant. 
This governance model ensures that ICP evolves based on collective decision-making rather than executive mandates. The future is sovereign and uncensorable. When you step back and look at the bigger picture, the implications of ICP are enormous. A decentralized cloud means developers are no longer locked into proprietary platforms. Applications become sovereign entities that exist independently of corporate infrastructure. Users gain control over their data, their identity, and their digital interactions. Governments lose the ability to quietly censor or manipulate online systems by targeting centralized providers. New business models become possible. Open platforms, cooperative ownership, transparent services that cannot be rug-pulled or shut down overnight. This is not just about technology. It is about power. Who controls the internet? Who owns digital infrastructure? Who decides what can exist online? The internet computer offers a credible alternative to the centralized cloud model that dominates today. Google and AWS built the cloud that powers the modern internet, but their dominance comes with trade-offs that are becoming impossible to ignore. The internet computer protocol is not trying to compete with them on their terms, it is changing the rules entirely. By hosting applications, data, and computation directly on-chain, ICP removes centralized choke points and restores the original promise of the Internet. An open network, a neutral infrastructure, a system owned by no one and accessible to everyone. If this vision resonates with you, now is the time to pay attention. Learn how ICP works, explore the applications already running on it, and consider what a truly decentralized Internet could mean for the future. Because the next evolution of the Internet is not being built in corporate data centers, it is being built on-chain. If you find this deep dive into the future of decentralized technology valuable, please support this channel. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss future updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.